October is a new month of hurricane season, and we know that every month is different, right? June starts off the season. It's relatively quiet there. Then August and September, that's when we typically see our peak activity, and that lingers even into early October. We even sometimes get a second peak in the middle of October, which is much lower than the first peak, but still water temperatures are very warm, so that's why things take a while to settle down in the tropics. But by the time we get to the end of October and into November, when the season ends, Things are much quieter for the next few weeks, though. There is definitely an opportunity for storms to continue to grow and build in the tropics, despite the little lull that we've seen recently. So where do we watch for these storms? The Gulf of Mexico, a big spot, the Caribbean, the Central Atlantic. Looking back at the hurricanes that have developed in October since 1980. So these are all storms that were born on or after October 1st. 43 of them developed into hurricanes. So we're not even talking storms that started in September and lasted into October. So big October only storms, Wilma, Michael, Sandy, those are all just in recent years. There have been nine major hurricanes total. And so I wanted to dig in deeper. So I took a look at the record books since 1850, and this is what I found. We actually had eight major hurricanes born and raised in October that have made landfall in the US, and most of them were in Florida. Six of those eight made landfall in Florida. Hazel was an exception. That was a category four that made landfall in South Carolina back in 1954. This storm had reportedly a 40 mile eye and winds sustained at 130 miles per hour. So yes, you can definitely get big storms this time of the year that are born during these months. Definitely more than enough warm water for that to happen. But you notice Florida has kind of the bullseye. Why? Well, it has to do with the pattern. Firstly, we have our breeding ground in the Gulf of Mexico and mainly in the Caribbean. But what changes in October is the jet stream. It dips down more frequently. So that's kind of the driver behind the wheel and it steers these storms towards the Northeast more times than not. And so what's to the Northeast? Florida. And that's why we tend to see a lot of the bigger storms that develop over the years end up hitting the Sunshine State. So these were our names for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. I say were because we finished all of them. We had two category four hurricanes. Now we're in the Greek alphabet. The next name on the list is Gamma. And then after that, it's Delta. I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia.